All right, welcome back everybody. We have a doozy. So we have kind of the one I get the most questions about, whether it is Pathfinder, combining shapes. We are gonna go through Pathfinder a tiny bit, and then we are also gonna go through Shape Builder. So we're gonna kind of show you both of those options, just so you can kind of have some options, especially as you are building things out. So in the last video, we did quite a bit of the building. We only have a couple different things left to still build. So we are gonna come over to our layers. I'm gonna lock all these guys out and I'm actually gonna just build the mouth on its own layer. So we'll do the mouth first. Oh, let's do the eyebrows first. I, I don't know if we're ready for it. It's gonna be some fun. So let's just show you it first and then I think we can come back through and do the mouth. So what I wanna do is just hold down shift as well as alt and I am just getting pretty close to that top line. If I click on Shift X, I should be able to see it a little bit more. Now I'm gonna take this guy. Let's just go Shift X with it. I'm gonna come up to the top, edit copy. Now for this one, I'm gonna go edit and I wanna paste this one in front. And then I wanna start teaching you guys a little garbage green. So all that really means is this is gonna be a throwaway shape. Just so you can kind of see what we're dealing with. Okay, so again, I'm just looking for that half moon shape. I will zoom in because we are going to have some fun. All right, so this shape, again, is a cutaway shape. So it's going to disappear. We are going to delete it, and we're going to give you kind of both options. So if I come over to Pathfinder, notice I'm on my black arrow. I have selected both of them. Pathfinder is hanging out over here in our panel. So if you can never find any of these, Again, just come on over, click on window. We are gonna drop on down. We are looking for Pathfinder and then it'll pop up. So under window, it'll actually say Pathfinder. So instead of doing a little tool hunt, trying to figure out what the icon is, you can always just come in and then just click on it. So this is what we're gonna do. We are gonna come in and I want you to do a minus front and we're gonna do both options. I'm gonna do shape builder and then I'm also gonna show you Pathfinder. So minus front, remember that front so when I said paste, paste in front, that is what we are referring to. So that garbage green one, as soon as I click it, is going to cut away, and then we're gonna be left with that eyebrow shape. So the ones that are really, really easy to kind of figure out, you know, the combining, we are gonna do that next, or the uniting, so it's just gonna combine everything. I think that one's really, really easy. When you do minus front, as long as you don't need the shape that you're cutting, then you just do the little garbage green, cut it away and that one's pretty easy to figure out. So we're gonna continue using this. Again, we've got our nice little mouth to do as well. I'm gonna go Control Z. Control Z is your go back. And what's really nice about Illustrator is you can just do that forever. So I'm gonna grab both of these and I'm just gonna show you the other option which is Shape Builder. It is hiding over here. This one's gonna take a little bit of tool hunting. So just kind of look for it, it might be hiding. A lot of times we will use our live paint bucket. So if you've done any of our other tutorials, we do this quite frequently. So that is the one right above it. And Shape Builder wants to build. So as long as you kind of think, oh, it wants to build, then when we want to cut away, just look down at your Alt option. And then we are gonna be cutting away those two shapes. So it's literally just me pointing and clicking. Notice that it kind of highlights. So if I click on Alt, I'm holding it down for dear life. I'm waiting for it to highlight and then I just click away, and then that's that's it. That's well, so all we need to do. That one was the easy one. So edit, I'm gonna do this, copy. Let's do another edit, paste in front. So especially if I'm trying to align or if I'm not trying to align, let's just do the, I'm just giving you some options. The really, really basic way of doing it. All right, so let's right click, transform, reflect. I want that to be on the vertical axis. I'm just seeing where I want that. All right, that looks good. So again, let's just do our align while we have it. I want to align to selection. Notice that these are hanging out at the top too. So I want those to be centered with each other, which they are. I will then group them. And then I just want to double check that those are in fact aligned to the artboard. So that one is all done. Lock out the eyebrow. Now we have the doozy. This one is going to be our mouth. And what's really nice about this mouth one, 
is it is going to be an accumulation of all of the things we just learned. All right. So this is what we're going to do. I want to grab, and let's just make sure we only have our strokes so you guys can see the method behind the madness here, is I'm going to have a lip shape, and then I'm going to have another shape kind of going below. So we're going to, again, build with two. So I am going to just draw out from the center. I am just looking for that nice little center. Aligning to artboard, let's go right in the middle just so we have it right the first time. Let's just drag out. And now for this one, I'm just looking for the bottom. If I'm scaling, I'm holding down Alt. So notice if I go Alt, notice that it's going on both sides. I think that'll probably be all right. So let's just make sure that these are both aligned into the center. That looks good to me. So let's do each one. So let's color this one. I just want that one to be our dark. This one for sure, when I go Shift X, this one is our garbage green color. This is gonna be our cutaway. Now, things to pay attention to. So notice the order. Remember when we did our minus front? This is not in the front, so it is not gonna be, so if I, let's just do it, so you can see what's gonna happen. So if I say minus front, the black is what's in front. So it's gonna actually cut away from the green. So I want you to just be paying attention to whenever this says minus front, or if it has something that's telling you what to arrange, we wanna make sure that that is arranging. Bring to front. Now if I come back, click minus front, it'll cut it away for us. All right, so that is option number one. Again, let's go back. Let's just show you the other option. I grab them both. Let's just come on over to our shape builder. I'm gonna hold down Alt. And anything that's selected, so notice it's giving you multiple shapes. So every everything that's an overlap, I can modify, I can delete, I can move, and then I can just hack those down. So that looks good to me. I am gonna click on A. I am gonna click on A. I'm gonna get my little round corners. And I'm just gonna drag those right on down. Look how easy that was. Shift X. All right, let's do the rest of them. Now this one is gonna be another little shape that we're gonna be using quite frequently. I think we're gonna just transition over into just using Shape Builder, just because it starts getting a little bit more complicated if we use the Pathfinder. So I don't wanna confuse you. Let's do all the easy stuff today. So what we wanna do is, this is now gonna be turned off. Let's click on just a cream. So notice before I changed a color that I clicked just anywhere in the, the artboard, that's what we're gonna to refer to as deselecting. The amount of times you color the wrong thing because something is still selected, you'd be amazed. All right, so let's do this. I am gonna just zoom in, and let's talk about duplicating. So we've already kind of talked about like the, if I just point and click with the ellipse tool, I will get the exact same size. So that it would be one way of duplicating. Let's do another one. We've already done copying and pasting. So what I wanna do is just hold down my Alt option. Notice there's that little white arrow right next to it. So if I drag this out, it is going to make a new shape. Now I'm gonna tell you this, here is the little trick. The trick is to hang on for dear life and not let go of your alt option. So for this whole time, I've been hanging on to it. Now let's just do the oops, what happens? I think people don't realize, or you'll just see like hold down alt, and so they'll click it, they'll hold down alt, and so they'll start dragging, and then they go, oh, I can now let go of Vault. So now notice my cursor. And then if I do it, it just moves the shape. So what I want you guys to just think of in your head is that you are hanging on until you let go with your mouse. There is almost no harm in you hanging on <laughs> for a very, very long time uh, on that Alt option. All right, let's align these up. So I'm on my black arrow. I'm gonna be aligned into selection on all of these first. So I want those far ones to be centered. I want these two to be centered. Again, every time I do it, I am just looking. All right, that looks good. So I'm selecting all of them. And let's kind of just come back into our align panel right now. A nice little fun thing is this distribute spacing. I was waiting for something to show, and there it is. So if I click on it, it's going to 
go something nice and even. So I like that one quite bit, a bit. I'm going to go Shift X. And again, this cream color is just so we're not dealing with white right now. So we are going to modify that. Notice that these are all overlapped. I want that to just be one big massive shape. So I can do Unite. So option number one is Unite, especially when there's a lot of those little overlaps. I personally just like doing Pathfinder. But if you guys like the Shape Builder, as long as you make a sound effect when you do this, then you, you can combine them that way. Oh, the amount of times I make sound effects with Shape Builder. All right, so that would be all combined. That looks good. Let's go Control-0. I am going to go Shift-X. And then let's just do some easy ones. So I'm going to grab this one. Let's grab our teeth. And what I want to do is just come back over to Shape Builder. And notice that we've got this little extra. I'm going to hold down my Alt. And then I'm just going to click. And then that's it. It is magically done. So I'm going to go Shift X just so I can see my other guys. Hopefully by now you're getting some shortcuts. So I want this one to be a light pink. Let's work on our duplicating. I'm just dragging that over. Again, hang on for dear life. I'm letting go with my mouse. Notice that cursor. I'm still hanging on to my Alt option. All right, so I'm just grabbing both of those. Again, I'm on my black arrow. And then we are just aligning. Let's just do these up at the top. I'm going to go, and let's just come on over. We'll just toggle them. Now, this toggle, why you'll see me do that is so I don't have to come over here, click on none, come back over and so like we, that's why we don't go back up to the top and kind of switch them so that little toggle saves a bunch of time so that'll be your friend all right so easy version let's just do unite in our pathfinder i am going to grab this one i'm going to again shift x now i will tell you that when you are doing shape builder i am going to recommend to do it with fills especially as you are learning it will take a lot of the frustration away. You can like subtract and do all sorts of different things with the stroke, which we actually do in our popsicle tutorial. But while you are getting started, I don't want you to sit there and have to worry about any of that. All right, let's do a nice little circle. We're going to practice our arranging for sure right now. So I'm just doing that little back circle. I'm going to go a little bit darker with this one. So again, I want to arrange. Let's just bring that one to front. Same thing. Let's just arrange, bring it to front. And every time, that's just right click. So I am going to select our circle. Let's do that outside shape first. Let's come on over to our shape builder. And then I can just get rid of it. So that is it. These guys can all be hiding. I am totally OK with that. All right, control zero. All right, so he is pretty well built. We have all of the easy stuff left, and he gets very, very fun. So this is what we're going to do in the next tutorial. We are going to add on a bunch of strokes. We are going to be in the appearance panel. We are also going to be in the stroke panel. We are going to be aligning to the inside as well as the outside, and he is going to be looking pretty well done. And we only have one more tutorial after that when we are still building, and that is going to be adding gradients. So I will see you guys on the next tutorial.